Welcome to 360 Strong Women. Today we're going to do a workout and we're using solo cups. Grab a couple of solo cups, meet me in your living room with a mat, some sneakers, some water. It's a party in your living room, but it's a party workout. So the first thing we want to do is always warm up side to side. We're going to be doing some body weight things using some solo cups. It just helps the brain work a little faster, gives you a little bit of coordination, and it's fun. Reach up, open up that vascular system. You know the drill, want to keep that form on point. Form first, twist out your spine, Push your arms out. Just telling our body what we're going to be getting ready to do. You know, we always want to load the legs, lift them up first, open up those glutes, and then load them up here. If you haven't already, you know, push that button, like subscribe and share so that you can get all the content, ring the bell if you want to be notified for it, so you don't miss a workout, you don't miss a recipe, you don't miss a coffee talk on wellness. Got a lot of stuff coming, and there's a big library out there, side lunge. We want to keep them kind of short so you can marry them together. Thank you for those who've already subscribed. I appreciate you. I hope that you're enjoying the workouts, enjoying the coffee talks, making your goals, enjoying the menu. So give us some lunges in because we will be lunging. This workout's going to be 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest. We go again, a little bit of coordination using our solo cups. Go ahead and do a little bit of cardio. Remember that you can modify by keeping one leg on the ground all the time. You don't have to be jumping like crazy. Still working those muscle groups. So if that's a thing that you have, and then just work in different planes of motion. So if that's a thing you have, I don't like jumping around, hurts my back, hurts my knees. I have issues with that. Um, I'm inside like I'm inside then you can modify and still get a really good cardio workout and you can heart train by putting your body in different planes of motions you don't always have to be running down the road if you like to run down the road run down the road don't forget to do the other things like lifting yoga meditation body weight stuff make it consistent and make it varied and that's how you're going to get your goals what we want to do is we're going to use a couple of cups to do side to sides. So I'm going to come down, side squat, push over, and take my cups back and forth like this. So I've got a little coordination going on. Just moving the cups over side to side. I've got my apple under my chin. My abs are tucked in tight. I'm loading my legs. So that's your first one, your side to side squats. Move those cups. Don't worry if you drop them and they fall all over the place. It's supposed to be fun, but it also is brain-body connection. We want to be coordinated. We're working. And do you find that you have a... Oh, see, I missed it. Do you find that you have a dominant body part that always wants to take over when you want to be using your left and your right takes over and grabs it. I have one of those. 
Oh, we want to learn how to use bow. And I missed it again. <laughs> And rest that out. So step side to side as you're resting. So we were in a sagittal and a frontal position. Loading those legs, right and left sides, squatting down. Catch your breath and then meet me on the mat. All right, your next one is going to be a plank. You're gonna be holding a plank and we're gonna be building the cups. Setting them down, building the cups. Setting it down, building the cups. <laughs> it's, it's harder than it, it looks. You wanna keep your plank form. So apple under the chin, pull the pit of the belly in and up. Remember, our planks are not here. They're not doggy, right? Here, they're here. We want to keep that nice and level as we work. So prepare and you're working. Breathe. So I have to be coordinated to use my brain and I'm working my core. And I'm in a prone position, so I'm working my heart, coming off those side to sides. And rest it out. Your next one's going to be alternating front lunges. You're gonna put the cups down right by you. Roll those shoulders back, place them down, step up, come down pick them up, and then alternate them back. And you are working. Exhale, inhale. Exhale. Remember your lunge position. Use your legs, not your back. A lot of thinking going on here today. With your solo cup party workout. Rest. Nice job. Going on to that next one. A soccer shuffle. So tap. Tap, 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 tap. Okay. Don't worry if you kick them over. Just start again. It's all good. A little bit of coordination today. How do we modify that? Modify it here. It's all good. Just pick up your legs so you can work those glutes. And rest side to side. You're gonna meet me on the mat in a supine position, different plane of motion. You just need one solo cup and we're gonna pass it from your feet to your hands in an ab exercise. I'm gonna bring it to my hands and lower down, and then bring it back to my feet and lower down. Exhale, inhale. Coordination and rest. 
Let skaters next. So you're going to try to get from here all the way over to here. So the further away you make it, the harder it is. Try to land on one foot so that you can work not only right and left sides, but balance. So a lot of core work going on here and a little cardio. All right, are you ready to work? Set it up and you're working. Apple under your chin. Keep your head above your heart. You've got this. Almost there. And you're done. March that out. Go ahead and get some water. You're going to line your cups up along one side. We're going to do a balance exercise, which is really good. You're going to hip hinge like one-legged deadlift. Pick up your comb, put it under your leg, and squat down, put it on the other side. Hip hinge, pick it up under the leg, and put it down. Hip hinge, pick it up under the leg, and put it down, and then switch sides. Hip hinge, under the leg, one leg squat, stand it up. Hip hinge, under the leg, squat down, stand it up. Oh, my glutes are on fire already. Hip hinge, under the leg, squat it down, one leg. Use those leg muscles, half under the chin, pull it tight. Hip hinge, under the leg, squat it down. Stand it up, hip hinge, under the leg, squat it down, stand it up, hip hinge, under the leg, squat it down, and stand it up. The last one, you're going to space out your solo cups, find your plank, and you're going to walk to, in plank, you're going to walk to the cups, back and forth. And then we're done. I'm going to stretch you out and cool you down. So all planes of motion, right, left sides, sagittal position as well. A little bit of cardio, a lot of balance, a lot of thinking, a lot of mind body connection. Really, really good. You don't have to use just solo cups. I just thought it was fun. They're handy. They're always around the house. You can use other tools. Walk over. Walk back. Breathe. Walk over. Walk back. Remember, our body is one long line. And I'm putting my hips in the air. Walk back. Breathe. And rest. <laughs> Your solo cup workout is done. Let me stretch you out. There you have it. The solo cup challenge. Body weight work, core work, balance work, a little cardio, all planes of motion, using your body and some solo cups. Up and over, breathe in and out. 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds off. You've got this. You may be recovered already, so you can go ahead then, before you do this cool down, marry this to another body weight, a lifting, a cardio, some yoga to get some good flexibility and stretch. Remember, we want to marry the delta together. Cardio strength, flexibility, and balance. Front of the hand to the low part of the back, reach over. Nice. 
You can do some breathing and then you're done. Jump in the shower, hydrate your body, eight, eight ounces of water and start your day. You're already on the road to success. You have earned your workout. There's a lot of science about getting your workouts done first thing. Feet hit the ground, you're moving your body. You've earned it and you'll make better decisions through the day. It's called the small wins theory. Instead of, I'll do it at the end of the day. And what do we find at the end of the day? We find that, wow, I'm tired. I had to work longer. Something came up. Life happens and it does. Happens to me too. Now, if you have to work out at night, if that's a thing you have to do, my recommendation would be then before you go to bed, so if you're upside down or you're working different shifts, something like that happens all around the world, do some meditation and some waterfall, a waterfall yin pose uh, before you go to bed and slow down all that cortisol in your body so that you can have restful sleep, get in that hot bath. A video that I put out on healthy sleep and how to get that done. So if you are a person who, Beth, I have to work out after work. That's the way my life is. That's okay. It's doable. I've been there. Sometimes you just have to work out later in the evening. Consider your cortisol levels are going to be high, so you need to bring them down. Hydrate, some green tea, decaffeinated, meditation and breathing, perhaps journal. Relax the body and bring it down before then you go into nice slumber. So it can happen. You just have to uh, plan it out a little bit differently. And if you have questions about that, when should I work out? When should I eat? When should I X, Y, or Z? Leave me comments below and I will get the information to you that is vetted by science. I don't do anything crazy or trendy. It could be better by science and be trendy, but I do tried and true. Tried and true. What works? Feels good. I'm going to bring my knee up to my chest. Open up those glutes. Work out my ankle joint. Take my heel down into the mat. Sit into my hip. Apple under the chin. Pull it in tight. Same thing, roll those shoulders back, stack the scapula. So you can do a yin video, a gentle stretch video, a meditation, things like that, just to calm you down. And my suggestion is always to do those things anyway, even if you've worked out in the morning, but just prepare, we need to prepare and train our bodies to sleep well. Just like we train muscles, we train ligaments, tendons, we train ourselves for routine. And that's one of those things that if you don't sleep well, it's gonna impede on other parts of your wellness journey, particularly when it comes to hormones and cortisol. If you're feeling bloated, you're like, I don't know what's going on in my body. It's usually hormones. Apple under the chin, come all the way down. Roll it slowly all the way up. L1 through 5, T1 through 12. Roll the shoulder, elbows. Big circle, big breath up. Exhale it all the way. Go in peace. Your solo cup challenge workout, your body weight workout is done. I hope you had fun with it. It's just a creative way to get in the stuff that we have to do to make our bodies optimal health, optimal wellness, optimal fitness. Don't forget to live your life 360. Hydrate your body. I'll see you for the next video. Bye.